We've all been there, heading along the street and seeing someone begging up ahead. Some of us have even developed an unofficial evaluation system. Are they homeless? Are they begging to fuel their drug addiction? Are they simply at it? We're in the town so much that we just see them constantly and we know this, the ones that are genuine. that are genuine and they're not. So um, you have to make that value judgment yes. as a, uh, it's, very, it's very difficult, I think, but at the same time, I think there's so many in town. And Do around you... about four o'clock, quadruples, yeah. because everybody's going to believe in work. Do you find it conflicting that you don't know whether to give money or not give money and you, you worry either way? I think we've already made up our minds no, about think, the ones yeah. we give to. At the start, when I first started working in the city centre, it affected me, but it's just part of the city centre now. Today, in conjunction with homeless and drugs charities, Glasgow City Council's launching a new alternative giving scheme. Street Change Glasgow allows the public to donate directly to a fund via contactless donation points in places like nightclubs and train stations. One of the charities closely involved in Street Change Glasgow is the Simon Community, which aims to combat both the causes and effects of homelessness. Robin Wallace. We understand that confliction there and we also know that this will not stop members of the public putting money in the cup. People will choose to give whoever they see fit and we're not trying to divert away from that. What we're doing is, is simply giving members of the public a little bit more confidence in a different system and a way that they can give and feel confident in giving that it's going to be used creatively and purposefully by a, a really qualified team of people who work with people who are begging every single day, understand some of the challenges to, to get them off the street um, and, and hopefully that, that drives a little more confidence in the public. The money in the fund will be used to help people involved in begging to improve their lives long term and is based on a scheme called the Big Change which has been running for three years in Manchester. Nick Buckley of Rough Sleeper charity Change for Good has worked with it in the past. People sometimes don't want to give to a charity because 20% of their donation goes to running costs. If we're trying to stop kind-hearted citizens putting money in paper cups on the street, which all that does is feed addiction, then we need to make sure they're happy with where that money's going. That's why Big Change Manchester only concentrates on buying items for individuals who are above sleeping. We've used it to buy somebody a mobile phone because we're in the process of trying to get them help and support accommodation. So we go straight out, £15, here's a mobile phone, now we can keep in contact. We've got people employment, but they're not going to get paid for two weeks. But they need bus fare to get to their new job. So we've gone out and bought a two weeks bus pass for them. And then we've even used it to pay for the first month's rent and deposit to get people off the streets and into accommodation. Back in Glasgow, where it's estimated that two thirds of people begging have a drug addiction, William, who insists he's no longer a drug user, says he continues to beg because it helps fund his life so he can have a home with his daughter and his dog. He says if cash doesn't go directly to people begging who happen to have drug problems, they'll simply end up funding their habits through crime. Shoplifting, robberies, keeping your strung out, it's a horrible feeling in the world and you do anything to get that fixed to help you. It's like you're no longer in control. You're driven towards. No, you're, getting you're, no, you're not in control. You know what I mean? And you do anything. And that's the truth. When I was doing drugs, I was trying to phone shows and all that to try and get my drugs. Trying in schools and all that. I'm not proud yet. You know what I mean? I'm happy. I'm happy. With, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with my drugs. And I've got my last year and all that. You know what I mean? But Robin Wallace of the Simon community says addiction or no addiction, they aim to reach all people begging on the streets of Glasgow. Addiction is only one part of a whole person and in order to try and help that person with that addiction we need to reach the rest of them. So we're looking at really creative ways and how we can engage with people. It doesn't change the addiction, we understand that. We'll do our best to try and support people in other ways.